All right, outdoorsmen, three quick points that I want to make uh, before we get into the first real day of hunting action. Number one, although we were there in July, in the Southern Hemisphere, that's winter time. I will tell you that most mornings it was in the upper 30s or low 40s, and then by late morning it was well into the 60s or 70s. It never got terribly hot, but there were many of the days that we were in short sleeves, as you will see. But none of the days it was hot enough that we really could have been in shorts, although many of the guides and outfitters wore shorts. Uh, second thing, it was incredible how there was always kind of a dull haze that surrounded the sun, and you'll see that because it is so dry there that many times there's enough breeze that's putting dust into the air. And the last thing, and potentially the most important, um, there is a harvest that my daughter made on this video, so I wanted to fully disclose that so that if that's not something that you want to see, um, once we're in the blind, you will actually see her harvesting an impala. So let's get on with the video. Pretty good sized thorns on this bush. And there are lots of them around.
They know what they're doing. That's not the they're just in the way. Just some follow-up information here at the end of the video. Uh, my daughter made an excellent shot with my Inter Arms 270 caliber rifle. Um, it was roughly 100 yards. As you saw, it was one shot. She, we tracked it about 100 yards, and that was the end of that adventure for the first part of day one. So stay tuned, you will be catching the second part of day one here next week. Talk to you soon, and remember, get outdoors.